there's an element of wanting to to highlight a period in time that I found very interesting, which is the turn of the century Vienna. That whole period of time precisely where science and philosophy and music amalgamated more than perhaps it had done anywhere else at any time in history, sort of culminating and then abruptly being cut off by the, by the wars. I have a fascination with that time and I find that bringing Brahms, who represents in many ways the, the, the highlight of, of, the, of the development three, four hundred years back, and then to take two composers who went from there and went in their own totally separate directions, I found to be very interesting, especially, of course, Schoenberg, who had his own obsession almost with Brahms. And so quickly became a master of the idiom of traditionally what we call Western classical music that he had to break it at a very young age and, and come up with an entirely new system which to this day still sounds modern to most people's ears, although the violin concert that we'll be playing is uh, more than 70 years old. But yet it's, I know no piece that is more modern. It's not contemporary, but it's modern. And so I found that very interesting. And then you contrast that with a piece written by Erich Wolfgang Korngold, who was a wunderkind, who Mahler, the last of the titans, you know, where, where sort of symphonic uh, uh, music culminated, really, and, and with his death just before the First World War, you know, really marked the end of an era. Mahler himself uh, heralding the young boy wonder Korngold as a genius. And then with all the, the twists and turns that the life of Korngold took, he w went to America to write film music. Then he could not come back to Europe because as a Jew um, during the late 30s, that was no longer possible. And always uh, sort of suffering from his having been a successful movie composer, film composer, um, having composed wonderful film music in its own right. And then wanting to get back to classical music, writing a concerto which sounds so, in a beautiful way, old-fashioned, although it's written, I believe, uh, 10 years or 11 years after the Schoenberg, I find that an interesting constellation. And then we do bring with the players, who, who I have you know, much respect and affection for, we bring a chamber concert to the Barbican where we play both Schoenberg's Verklärte Nacht and the Brahms Sextet. So, it's just a wonderful project which highlights that whole period in time that, that I find extraordinarily fascinating.